What's up guys? It's Riantium here, and today we are back in Skyrim. And that's right you guys, and oh snap, is it gonna be an awesome freaking day? But first, if you guys haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on all social medias and check out my website. Links are down there in the description. So guys, welcome back. And happy Saturday, guys. So, as you guys realize, within this last week, this first week of Skyrim mods, I very much hope you guys enjoyed all of the mods that we had for show, because next week, we're going to show all the ones that you guys voted on all throughout the week. Now, if you guys are new to the channel and stuff like that, because you're coming for the home showcases, be sure to stay tuned during the weeks, because we have all sorts of mods coming out every single day of the week, including the home shows on the weekend. So, guys, without further ado, let's get into this right here. So right here, Ebon Grove is what we're taking a look at. Now, I know what you might be thinking. From the thumbnail, it almost looks like Redoran Grove. And you're actually correct. So the mod author is, I believe they, they made the same house, Redoran Grove. Although, Redoran Grove is in Solstheim. So Ebon Grove is in Skyrim. So we're actually in Skyrim down here in, you know, the area of the Rift. You know, Riften is quite, oh, it's quite a ways from you, but it's kind of in this area. So... Ebon Grove is, can I find it on, can I, okay, there, well, mm, there we go. Ebon Grove is right there. We have Cragslane Cavern, Unsilvund, and then we have Northwind Mine, Northwind Summit, Mistwatch, the Atronach Stone, and Steam Crag Camp. Now, the closest hold you're going to want to go to to find this place is obviously Windhelm, because if you go to Riften, then you got to jump down, and it's just a hassle, so Windhelm's most likely going to be your best spot. But, fairly easy to find on the map. Now, the, ex the, uh, the exterior of the home is actually nothing nothing to, you know, be crazy about, but there is a key that you are required to find, and it's right here. So check this out. Note to Raven's, uh, what is it, Raven's Ianth or something like that? It's a little bit of, uh, you know, a lore dive and stuff like that, but the key to Ebon Grove is inside of the urn, right as you come up to the front door. So let's go ahead and go into it, shall we? And so here we are, inside of Ebon Grove. Now I know exactly what you're thinking, it looks exactly like the entrance to Redoran Grove. But like I said, the mod author has done both of those houses, so I believe this is kind of a revamped version of Redoran Grove, but in Skyrim now, which is pretty cool to have for those of you that have wanted Redoran Grove, but don't want to go to Solstein to live. Now this is the most amazing freaking entrance. One, because of the aesthetic, but two, just take two seconds and listen to the music. Isn't it beautiful? Just absolutely gorgeous. You know, you got the flowing wind through the trees. You know, the trees are moving. You got the bugs flying around. And this beautiful symphony in the background. Oh my god, it's bringing a goddamn tear to my eye. <laughs> I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. But we have a teleport to Ebon Grove spell at the front door, which is very useful. If you're ever in a pinch and you need to teleport back home, you're good to go. So let's take a little bit of a walk down here. Now, this is not the stock amount of insects that's spawning in here. I can pretty much guarantee that. So if you're looking for more insects in your world of Skyrim, TLS Insectopia is the mod that I use. You can check it out in the mod load order that I have listed down in the description. But kind of a neat little fishing spot down here. Look at that. You got some Cyrodiilic spade tails. You got all sorts of stuff down inside of there. Very neat to see. Not to mention, like I said, the aesthetic is absolutely gorgeous. And you can actually just come on down here. And chill out, a decent long fins, and you know, you got all sorts of stuff like that. Hist carps. Now, what is this giant Dwemer thing right here? Doesn't look like it's actually anything. It may just be for show, which is kind of cool to see. And there, what is that, a French horn? Sounds like a French horn solo in the background. God dang, beautiful. Beautifully done. I want to know who does the music. It may actually be in the description. But right at the front door, we have a little bit of a ladder to come up to a nice little loft. Kind of a reading nook, actually. Look at this. The Waters of Oblivion. Grab yourself a bottle of spiced wine and a nice book. And you can come up on top and just overlook your entire spot. I love the freaking nature inside of here, dude. Perfect for those of you that are, you, might, you know, might be role-playing as, you know, like a wood elf. Or, you know, maybe a dark elf or something like that. Just kind of a nifty little thing. Not to mention, I mean, it's good for anybody. You know, a hunter, you know, a warrior, anything like that. Because it has everything that you could possibly need. But, let's see, we have all the shrines for the dark elves to Boethia, Azura, and Mephala, or Mephala. And then we have our smithing corner over here. Would you look at this? Got a little bit of armor storage right here, weapon storage right next to it. Very cool. And I love all of the static decor. We have our anvil. We have our, let's see, we have crafting supplies right there. We have a workbench, crafting supplies beneath it, grindstone. And then over here, we have a study smithing book, which I believe, yes indeed, increases your smithing. Crafting supplies, a smelter, one of the coolest looking smelters I've seen. 
Very cool to see. Very cool to see. I freaking love this house already, dude. And then down here, you can kind of take a shower. I mean, if, as much of a shower as you can in a waterfall right down by the water. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, let's see. We have a little bit of stuff over here. Elven mace and an elven bow and an elven sword just chilling on the weapon racks or the weapon plaques, rather. And I love this thing. You know, I was a huge fan of Rhetoran Grove in Solstein, so the fact that this got added into Skyrim makes me a very happy camper. And this will increase your enchanting skill. We have our arcane enchanter right here. You can store your jewelry inside of a skull with rubies for eyes. Kind of neat to see. Two armor mannequins for you to go ahead and store two of your favorite armors. Always cool to see. And then over here we have the same thing, but with alchemy. Which is very neat to see. Very cool to see. And then we have our nice little corner over here, our little kitchen nook. Got an oven. We have our cooking pot right here. Food storage for meat, veggies, bread, barrels, all sorts of that good stuff. A woodcutter's axe that you can actually use on the wood chopping block that's inside. And then finally, we come up to one of the coolest parts of Renarin Grove, but has been translated into Ebon Grove here in Skyrim, which is this gigantic ass bed. I'm pretty sure Shaquille O'Neal has a bed like this, except it's in the shape of a Superman symbol, but I can't remember. I think it was on an episode of like MTV Cribs or something. But, bookcase for the bookworms of Skyrim, because I know we got some watching. I love all the little thrones, you know, all kind of scattered throughout the, the whole home. Wardrobe up here. Oh, this is new. Oh, baby. Oh, look at this. I bet you this is either a children's bedroom or a guest bedroom. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is cool as shit. <laughs> this is cool as shit. So there's also kind of a study back here. Kind of an interesting place to put it. But nonetheless, pretty damn cool. And you can still sleep on those beds. The reason I would say it's a children's bedroom is because normally children's bedrooms have the the practice mannequins and stuff like that inside of them. But I don't see any toys. So it may actually be kind of a, you know, a follower's room. But nonetheless, very cool spot. Now let's see, did I miss anything up here? I don't think I did. It's a fairly straightforward kind of vertical, you know, uh, home, which is always nice to see, but you have every single thing you could possibly need in a home underneath, you know, kind of built into a mountain. And that's one of the coolest parts about this home. So I know, oh, and there's a staff enchanter right here. Very cool. So I know it's basically redoing Rhetoran Grove in a video, you know, but it's called Ebon Grove. But I wanted to bring attention to it because I've actually done a, 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 ho a house showcase like this before um, with... Waterview in Cyrodiil. So Cyrodiil, Waterview, uh, Waterview was created for Cyrodiil, and then the mod author ported it over to Skyrim. So this is kind of a similar situation, you know, Redoran Grove was built for Solstheim, but the mod author kind of ported this, this one with a little more tweaks over to Skyrim to make it more Skyrim friendly. But nonetheless, guys, I would highly recommend downloading this mod just because of the aesthetic. It's a beautiful little retreat, even if you don't use it. It's nice to have a cool spot in Skyrim to come, hang out, and be one with nature. So guys, I very much hope you enjoyed today's mod showcase. And if you did, make sure you guys hit that like button. No more smashing it, just a little bit of a love tap. And if you guys haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on all the social medias and check out my website. Links are down there in the description. And guys, I hope you're ready for a home field weekend. And I will see you in the next video.